Hey everybody, nice to see you again. Welcome back to the channel. Today we've got some new fish arrived. Um, a while back, one of my subscribers suggested that I try out some online fish um, deliveries. So in the past we've done videos about fish I've ordered from eBay and various other places where I, and I have bought fish online before and had them delivered. Even discus I've had delivered through the post. Um, but they suggested the Tropco and the fish have arrived today so I thought I'd do a little bit and take you through the process what it's like, what are the pros, what are the cons, what are the fish like the parcel has arrived today, I'm looking over here because it's here so I'll just grab it <laughs> pea puffers not a million of them the size of that box, weighs a ton as well <sighs> so yeah, well packaged so let's see if we can show you what's inside without any impending disasters. <laughs> so we get a nice little tropical message. Heat pad. No heat in it. Another heat pad. No heat in it. I'm assuming this has got to be mostly packaging. Why would you have a box this size? So, there is quite a lot of packaging. So, I actually ordered five, six, six pea puffers. And we've got six individually wrapped bags, which is great. Oh, and there is, in fact, so yeah, one fish per bag. It does appear to be alive and you probably won't be able to see anything in there. But the water is very cold. But alive, that's the main thing. So we'll get them floating in here. Right, so we've got them in there floating away. Um, I'll give them 20 minutes, half an hour in there, bring them up to temperature. The bags were pretty cold, so I'll give it a little bit longer, possibly. Uh, this tank normally runs at about 24 degrees. The room itself is 22 degrees, um, and it does have a heater in this tank, so it raises it a little bit. Um, so they should heat up in no time. So the way Tropco work, who are the people that I bought these particular fish from, is I ordered them on the 1st of January, well, I think it might have been overnight on the 1st, so they probably got the order on the 2nd of January. I then got a phone call on the 3rd of January asking uh, when I would like them to be delivered the week after that, so they offered me the 8th to the 10th the following week. So obviously that's a lot longer than just nipping to the shop if you know that they've got some and picking them up, but you can plan around that, I'm not too bothered about that. Um, it was fairly straightforward, just give them your address, the box turns up, you just need to make sure that you're in for it. But I think that's what the phone call's all about, just to make sure that you can agree a date properly. So, it seems pretty good system, um, pretty fair price. I might have saved a little bit of money if I'd gone and bought these from my local fish store, and I would be happy to do that, I normally am. But you know, it's nice to try new things. So the fish themselves, they are, depending who you are and where you come from, they're pea puffers, pygmy puffers, Dwarf yellow puffers, dwarf Indian puffers, Indian puffers. All these names all mean the same thing. Um, I'll put the Latin name down here somewhere if I remember. So if you're interested in keeping pea puffers, generally you'll see the advice is to keep them in a species only tank because they can be a bit nippy and that is true. Um, some people though however have had success keeping them with other things and I am keeping them with some other tank mates at the moment and that's been working pretty well for the past year or so. So I've got Cooley Loaches and Autos are the other things that live in here and as a bit of a self-sustaining ecosystem it's also packed full of cherry shrimp. The pea puffers are certainly the ones that are in there at the moment. Don't really bother the uh, larger shrimp, the adult shrimp, they only go for the baby shrimp so as long as they keep reproducing there's free snacks there all the time. As well as the shrimp being a snack and my other tank that's in this room which is a lot better looking than that one, but it is infested with snails, but that is on purpose because they are a good food supply for the, the pea puffers in the other tank. So I just take the snails out of this tank, pop them in the other one, and that keeps them going. 
So as well as the self-sustaining food in here and the snails coming from the tank next door, I also feed them things like uh, frozen foods are pretty popular. So um, they're not all that keen on brown shrimp that I've noticed, but they will take bud worms quite readily and happily. And as well as the blood burns, uh, they take these quite well as well. So that's the Hakari Vibra Bites, but that's purely because they're pretty much trying to imitate blood worms. So, job well done, Hikari. It seems to work. So we'll give these guys a little bit longer to float them in there, get them in, and we can have a quick look at them and see what they look like. So worth mentioning um, as well that all these fish are from Tropco. Um, while I did tell them I was going to make a video with the fish that was there, and they seemed to ignore that, which is fine, I paid for them. So if this isn't a sponsored video or anything like that. Um, I paid full price for these, um, no incentive to give a good review or a bad review or anything, so this is going to be just my normal honest opinion. So I imagine all customers who buy from Tropco get this little leaflet that just tells them a little bit about the company, and then on the back you get your advice for new fish care. So I shall paraphrase this, but essentially what they're saying is giving you advice on how to get your fish into your aquarium. So they're when it arrives, open the box, inspect your new arrivals, turn off the light and float the bag for about 20 minutes to equalise the temperature. Check doing that. After 20 minutes, cut the bag below the metal clip and roll down the bag. Add about half a cup of aquarium water to your bag and leave a further five minutes, then release your fish. That's fine, but it's not what I'm going to do. I'm going to use my usual method for fish that I get shipped in, but... I'm doing that fully aware that if something goes wrong and all those fish die, then that's my fault and I've got no recourse with um, Tropco or any other online retailer. If you don't follow the instructions, they're not going to help you out if it goes wrong. So if they've got another couple of bits about it, don't be surprised if your fish disappear. Their journey has been hopefully stress-free, but they're in a new environment, blah, blah, blah. Uh, while your fish acclimatise to their new home, it's well worth researching their specific needs. Our website has downloadable care sheets for most varieties. Now that's number four on the, the list of advice. I would suggest that maybe that needs to be up here or in, even in fact, before you even order the fish, you need to find out what they need. I mean, what happens if you buy uh, a red-tailed catfish and try and put it in a tank like this and then go, oh, won't fit in there. Uh, number five is the biggest killer of fish is poor water quality. Your water may be beautifully clear but still contain lethal toxins, ammonia and nitrite. Very important to monitor, blah, 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 blah. So while it is good advice, I'm going to trust my own method, but do as I say, not as I do, or do as they say, not as I say, I don't know. I'm actually going to put these fish straight into here, so normally I would always advise quarantining new fish, but these ones I'm going to get straight in here, and yes, laziness is a, a factor here, but mostly because I spend all my time in this room, so I can monitor them to see if this is going on, see what's going on in this tank and I can jump on anything that I need to uh, beforehand. So rather than clear out, all my tanks are full at the moment, so rather than setting up a new one or clearing things and moving around, I'm just going to put them straight in here. And you can all laugh at me in a couple of weeks if they all die. They've been in there nearer an hour actually, got caught up with some work. But I'm going to get them in now. Um, you've seen me do it a hundred times before. I'm just going to snip the top of the bags pour the majority of the water out, I've got a little bucket down here with a net in it just in case of accidents, pour the majority of the water out and then uh, get them in there because we don't want the puffers to be in air for any time at all possibly. Because if the puffer puffs up when it's in air, it becomes all the more difficult to get it to unpuff when you want it in the water. And they're designed to puff up with water, not with air. If they get air in it, I've said it in the last few videos, then you've got all kinds of trouble trying to get that out. Not impossible, but if you don't, then it's going to kill the poor little thing. So we don't want that. So I'm going to get most of the water out, so I don't want all that dirty water, and then scoop with a minimum amount of water possible and get the fish into there without it touching the air. So let's do that. There we go, one in. Just repeat that for the rest of them. Well, they're in there now. They seem happy enough. They've mostly just gone straight into hiding as most new fish do, especially after a bit of a stressful um, journey to get here. 
So to sum it up, they've got a really good selection at Tropco. Um, again, not being paid for this in any way, shape or form. Um, the downsides are, I guess, that you don't get to see the fish. You don't get to choose individual fish. You don't get to um, go there and pick them out and take them straight home again. So you have to wait for, in my case, it was a week or just over a week from the order. Um, I wasn't a fan of the fact that there was no styrofoam in there but there was two heat packs but at the end of the day it is winter and they were freezing so it took quite a while to warm them up but they seem to be okay um, they're in there they're hiding away as most normal fish do when they first get into an aquarium um, I've seen them have a couple of interesting looks at some uh, baby shrimp and a couple of snails that I've put in for them but all in all I'm happy I've built up the colony it's a, a decent size now and I'm hopeful that that might even turn into a breeding project of its own and um, so we'll see what we do we might split up the group into two tanks and take one downstairs but just enjoying them for the moment so if you haven't uh, it's definitely something I would recommend is checking out and um, some of the online fish delivery places like I say I've mostly used eBay um, and private sales and things like that where I've had things shipped this is the first time I've gone to a company to have them shipped I think I would use them again um, the only way I would improve on what's been done is possibly a styrofoam box but maybe they've done some testing and they were happy with the, the heat and it was just a one-off that those were so cold and um, I might try and get the turnaround a little bit quicker but I'm probably being unfair that I expected it to be a little bit quicker um, I'm sure that if I had placed an order on a Monday I might have got the fish that week for instance but it is what it is, I'm fairly happy that they got here safely with under 24 hours uh, from being posted um, well packaged except for the lack of the, the polystyrene or styrofoam box but other than that I'm quite happy with them so they're mostly hiding away but they're in there um, I have seen a couple chasing I can't really tell whether we've got males or females um, but they're a decent size um, so I'm more than happy with the the general appearance of the fish, they look okay, they look healthy enough, they look active, especially after being so cold. So yeah, so far so good.